It's 5.45 p.m., which means it's time for BCTV's Nightly News Roundup. I'm tonight's host, Roland Boyden, and this is 5.45 Live. What's going on tonight? Funny you should ask. Uh, we're going to find out who's converging on the Jazz Center, what not to do on Route 30, why swimming lessons aren't like they used to be, when and where to hang glide in Brattleboro, and a whole lot more. All that in 15 minutes so while David Spade shrinks another three centimeters. Stick with us. That's footage taken earlier in Townsend, where Wednesday night a local resident uh, skidded her automobile off Route 30's southbound lane and up onto the entrance ramp of the Leland and Gray Middle School Gymnasium, taking out several feet of steel railing, demolishing a basement entrance facade, and carving up the brick siding of the 50-year-old structure. Uh, though the school was hosting children and seniors for an annual event, no one was injured, including the driver. Only the driver's 99 Nissan perished. There we go. Um, and before we take a moment to move on and hit the other stories, what I want to do is do the weather. Um, our weather today is provided by the BUHS TV news crew at Brattleboro Union High School. Let's see what they got in store for us. Good morning. Um, today it's going to be mostly sunny with a high of 80 and a low of 58. The weather for this weekend will be a little bit colder with on Saturday a high of 65 and a low of 51 and on Sunday a high of 74 and a low of 53. There will be a 60% chance of rain on Saturday and 70% chance uh, of rain on Sunday. That's what I have for today. Now back to the desk. You can catch the complete broadcast of BUHS uh, TV at 9.15 on Channel 10 uh, every morning, weekday mornings, uh, except Wednesday, of course weekends when they're not in school. Um, broadcasts include school announcements, sports coverage, a sign language, sign of the day, this day in history, and a whole lot more. All student produced from script to screen. And moving on, next, the long dormant Maple Valley Ski Resort could be reopening its trails, uh, this time with year-round activities ranging from skiing, snowboarding, and ice skating to mountain biking, hang gliding, and more. Um, and for those of you hoping to get in the water soon, the Memorial Park pool is almost ready for you. My dedicated senior news correspondent, Joe Bushy, headed up there earlier to get some information. And boy, I'm really hoping uh, we can get him Skype in here, although uh, I'll admit cell service has been a little shoddy here. Let's see what we got. Joseph, um, technology working here? Technology permitting for me? See if we can get him on the line. Hey, Roland, we're over here at Living Memorial Park. We're just taking a quick look at it before it opens for the season on Saturday, June 18th. That's a week from tomorrow. Uh, swimming lesson registrations also start that same day. You can get more information about it here when you come. Uh, we can see here they got the pool all topped off and they're, they've got a lot of nice landscaping and site work done since the pool was open for last season and you can see it here it's a beautiful day out here there's some folks out there playing soccer on the softball field see all this beautiful new site work parking lots been reconfigured new bleachers a much wider margin around where everybody stands it really is beautiful over here if you haven't already seen it stop by and take a look come on by parks and recreation if you have any questions give them a call at 254-5808 Signing off from Memorial Park for Roland Boyden, BCTV 545 Live. It's Joe Bushy at Living Memorial Park. Back to you, Roland. Joe, thanks uh, for checking in with us. Uh, always good to get uh, Joe Bushy. Uh, he's flying around town every day uh, getting the scoop for me. So if you see him or his uh, co-host, Daryl Pillsbury, around town, flag him down, get yourself on TV, your event, your uh, thoughts. Uh, like that. Um, for anything park related here in town, you can uh, call the Parks and Recreation at that number Joe mentioned, 802 254 5808, um, or click uh, there's a link on the left sidebar of the town's website at brattlebrotv.org for them. So there you go. And with that, let's hit the events around town. Um, it's Friday, so our weekend calendar coverage is on. Uh, Saturday is Kids Day at the Farmer's Market, wherein children come to sell things they've made. The market is open from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Saturday. Um, you can find the market just west of Exit 2 here in Brattleboro. And music this week is provided by Barbara Holiday. And the Vermont Jazz Center is hosting Eugene Newman's Convergence Project this Saturday at 8 p.m. Now this is 
this saxophone player is no way near his level in terms of the improv. It's just skating. It's good, but it's not great. So, um, <clears throat> there we go. That, that was Humph. But the melody is like, it's like crazy. Can you imagine trying to learn that? And he was trying to teach it to them by ear. That's Eugene Newman when he spoke at Brooks Memorial Library last year. Um, so be sure to check out uh, this weekend's Jazz Center event with him. Um, and we'll just keep the events coming. Hilltop Montessori is hosting the first annual Music in Motion Festival featuring fun-loving bands, the Van Burens. Uh, there will be great local food, music, arts, and crafts, and demonstrations from local movement and fitness organizations. That's this Saturday at the Hilltop Montessori School at 12.30 p.m. And Saturday, the New England Center for Circus Arts is hosting Circus Yonoya as students from Wyndham Regional Career Center. Uh, the Career Center Circus Program perform their final projects with the German wheel, aerial fabric, trapeze, and more. That's all seven, uh, starts at 7.30 p.m. this Saturday at the Center's Cotton Mill Hills Studio. Um, and I'll just mention that if we missed your event or you want more coverage than just me flashing my pearly whites here, then email me uh, Roland at BrattleboroTV.org. That's R O L A N D uh, at BrattleboroTV.org. Uh, yeah, send me an email. We'll get your event and your information on, and uh, I'll try and have a little fun doing it as well. So, next up, it's our BCTV schedule quick glance where we get to hype our own channel. Um, I'm a big fan of this one. Uh, BCTV does it up Comcast cable style at channels 8 and 10. Um, and tonight's a big night for Open Studios, BCTV's all-access roundtable hosted by WTSA's Tim Johnson uh, is getting some full-time play tonight. Um, at 8 p.m. on Channel 8, Tim talks with Fire Chief Mike Bacosi and Assistant Fire Chief Pete Lynch about fire safety. And then at 9.30, he's back to talk with Brattleboro Community Justice Center's Julie Edder um, about last night's public forum at BUHS. There you go. And we'll just uh, continue our schedule, quick glance, and head over to Channel 10, our government channel here. Um, we have another showing of my 545 Live extended interview with Wyndham County Senator Jeanette White. Um, catch her as she discusses marijuana dispensaries, open meeting laws, and prison reform. Um, that's tonight, uh, just a little after this show, um, but over on Channel 10. So check it out. Um, so she'll be talking about all that, and I'll be sitting there next to her making a fool of myself. Um, and tomorrow morning on Channel 10 at 9.45, directly following the complete broadcast of BUHS TV, you can watch the rebroadcast of this show, 5.45 Live. Uh, and I'll just mention we'll be, we'll be doing that daily now. So if you miss me um, in the evening time, you can't make it home by 5.45 p.m. I know how important it is for you to watch this show every single day. Um, so you can uh, tune into Channel 10 the following morning at 9.45 and catch the rebroadcast of this show. It's it's like you never missed anything. It's like taking a time machine back in time to the night before while I was doing my thing. So there you go. Um, and as always, you can find our complete schedule for uh, both channels updated to the minute along with live streaming and video on demand for all lo local programming at brattlebrotv.org. And guess what? I get to show you just what that looks like today. Here we go. Where am I? Well, since you ask, I'm at BrattleboroTV.org. Um, and there you can see on the home page, um, we have a number of things going on. But a really good tool is at the bottom. Here's our channel, and it's updated to um, the minute. So if we make any last minute changes, um, you're going to see them here first. There's me uh, talking with Senator Jeanette White on 545 Live. That's at 10.30 p.m. on Channel 10 tonight. So be sure to check that out. And while we're at this lovely website, I'll also mention uh, the streaming for channels that we talked about right here. Let's pick channel 8. You can hit play and we'll stream up channel 8. And there I am. It's going to be uh, a crazy what, delay, just crazy that thing. Looks. Channel 10. Let's take a look at what's going on on channel 10. Planning Commission. Tough competition for me. And then, of course, we've got our uh, Watch Local Shows on Demand button, which takes you to our video on demand player. Look at how extensive this is. You can find uh, over, search over 450 local titles here. Um, and you can also choose between these categories, channel 8 and 10 live streams, uh, our featured category where we put new fun little featured videos every week. Um, here's the 545 live category. You can catch up on shows you missed uh, this way as well. There's yesterday's show and all of our 545 live shows. So very, very cool, very powerful, dynamic tool here um, from everyone at BCTV. 
And that is just about all I got. That's a full lid, everybody. Um, but before you switch over to Amy Morrison's Summer Beauty Picks, remember, we'll be back Monday with a new week of hijinks with field updates from Joe and Daryl, an all-new calendar coverage week, and a look ahead to my live remote broadcast from Brattleboro Union High School graduation. For 545 Live and BCTV, I'm Roland Boyden saying, good night, everybody.